The Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs has innovative and effective programs for teens who are struggling in their home, school, or community. These programs are designed to help adolescents change inappropriate attitudes and behaviors while developing accountability for their lives and achieve academic and emotional success. The Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs offers the following associated programs for boys. Tranquility Bay in Jamaica, Paradise Cove in Western Samoa, and Spring Creek Lodge located in Thompson Falls, Montana. The associated programs for girls are Tranquility Bay also located in Jamaica, Cross Creek Manor for Girls in Southern Utah, and Spring Creek Lodge also located in Thompson Falls, Montana. All of the programs in the association are independently owned and operated. Each geographic location provides some unique benefits. Each program must maintain the same high standards and follow a common program model, meet quality assurance checks, utilize a series of effective personal growth seminars for its students, and provide its clients with a warranty. Parents involved with a worldwide association of specialty program process are invited to attend the parent seminar sponsored by the association. These sites have been specifically selected and are perfect settings for teens to sort out their lives and make a new beginning. These teens are placed in an entirely new environment, and in some cases a new culture, far away from negative friends and influences that have adversely affected their lives. Through these new environment and cultural settings, the adolescents are immediately pulled out of their comfort zones and immersed in a new way of life. The best Cove has really helped me because when I came here I had a lot of problems with self-confidence, self-esteem. Um, I had a lot of hate and anger towards my parents and anybody else who didn't agree with, you know, what I was into. Um, it's really helped me to open my eyes, really start being accepting of my parents, uh, my, my whole family, um, really just helping me out with me and, you know, being the best I can. Pizza! Welcome to Jamaica! Tranquility Bay is located on the friendly Caribbean island of Jamaica, just a few hundred miles southeast of the United States. The program operates on a remote beach facility along the south coast of the island. At Tranquility Bay, students are enriched and effectively motivated by a unique cultural experience in Jamaica's warm yet humble and modest surroundings. Tranquility Bay operates two separate beach facilities, one for boys and one for girls. This enables the special needs of both to be better served. Um, the culture, they're, they're really happy, they're really positive and very friendly here. And um, on the drive down from the airport, I saw a lot of poverty and it made me really appreciate how much my family means to me and how much, how much love I have for myself and my family. From the Jamaican way of life, I've really learned to be humble, really appreciate what I have and not take things for granted. Spring Creek Lodge is located on 50 acres of prime forest land near Thompson Falls, Montana. The facility is located in a gorgeous mountain area that is conducive to personal growth and various outdoor activities. Spring Creek Lodge also operates two separate programs with some common facilities, one for boys and one for girls. This also enables the special needs of both to also be better served. My parents, of course, sent me to the program, but I myself put me in the program. Okay, it was my actions and my choices that uh, got me here. Paradise Cove has recently been featured nationally by the Knight Rider Syndicated Newspaper Group. It operates a beach facility on the tropical island of Samoa. The Samoan culture is well known for a strong family emphasis, respect for authority, and genuine concern for others. This is carried over into the program and teens are able to see things from a new perspective. Talofa! Welcome to Samoa! You know, I really realized how much we take for granted when we came here, you know. I look at the Samoan people, the staff, and they're really happy people. And they don't have all the material things we have. They don't have all the possessions we had at home. And I take a look at that and, you know, I really looked at, I don't need all that stuff to be happy. All I need is myself. Welcome to Cross Creek Manor! Utah, Cross Creek Manor has also been featured nationally as a result of its success. Cross Creek Manor is a residential treatment program located in southern Utah near Zions National Park. The program is a powerfully impacting intervention designed for girls who are struggling in their home, school, or community. The structure at Cross Creek has really helped me to like 
um, keep my values and, um, and stay in a position where I can stick through them even at home. Um, my parents aren't very like structured, they've got a lot of freedom and it's helped me to like, I'm more strict with myself now than my parents and like some rules they're like oh go for it and stuff with my friends and I'm like no I can't do that and it's really helped me to build like um, and know my own boundaries and my own my own values and trust them and my feelings especially and know that even if my mom says it's okay I know myself best and I know what I need and so it helps it allows me to know what I need and do it. Pretty much I didn't I didn't see the good sides in being part of a family. I didn't see the positive things about leading a working life. I didn't see um, what it could be like if you followed the rules and had um, trust. I, I just wanted to rebel. I wanted to, to go and have fun and I thought that nobody else understood that, especially my parents. So I just separated myself from them and went and did my own thing. The programs began to make each student responsible for their own lives, emotionally, mentally, and physically. As this process begins to help them become accountable in these areas, the students begin to restore a sense of integrity and self-esteem. Self-esteem helps create a new perspective, which is the first step toward long-term change. To develop this new perspective, the programs implement a process consisting of several key components. Effective behavior modification, academic courses that are task-oriented and competency-based, physical and recreational fitness three times daily, a series of highly motivational seminars called TAS, and emotional and personal development courses. While at these programs, students follow a vigorous daily schedule and a firm set of rules. This gives the staff plenty of opportunities to challenge the teens' inappropriate attitudes and behaviors while showing them productive alternatives. To facilitate emotional growth and personal accountability, all students participate in a series of seminars called TASK, Teen Accountability, Self-Esteem, and Keys to Success. The TASK seminar has been specifically designed for these processes. During the TASK seminar, students work on specific issues such as accountability, honesty, integrity, trust, choices, responsibility, anger, and especially self-esteem. Through their participation in this combination of educational and experiential activities, these young men and women are given an opportunity to evaluate the choices that has led them to this point in their lives. TASK also teaches basic skills that will help them facilitate appropriate choices in the future that create and maintain a clear path to success, whether it be in life, relationships, family, or business. The TASK seminar also facilitates the rebuilding of the family unit through the parent and the parent-child seminars that are also held through these programs. Well, we go through these things called seminars in the program, and I'd have to say the turning point was the second seminar. It's called Focus. I'd, um, I'd have to say that, that was the turning point in my life. I, I've I, like figured out all the like the pain and like the harm that I've put on people and done to people, and especially done to myself. And um, and I, I I actually like felt that pain, I guess you could say. And I I have to say that that was the biggest turning point. Cross Creek Manor helped me out with those choice, making those choices. I think, first of all, with seminars, really, the task seminars that we go through, I, I didn't want to go through them because I was really uncomfortable and I was scared to go through them. And so I always chose to leave them. And I finally decided that it was best for me. And I went through. And after that, I've been doing great in the program. And I, I realized just how one small choice, like going through a seminar, can really change, change how you feel or make a difference in your life. Um, my parents put me in the program. It was sort of like a, a last straw thing. They had nothing left they could do with me. I was just out of control. Um, at first when I came into the program, I, I was really upset. I was like, this can't happen to me. And uh, I, sat, I sat on my butt for a long time, you know, uh, really resistant to the program. And then after the seminars and just being around the, the positive attitudes, it, it, it grows on you. You start to think more in that that direction and that's what really directed my focus towards changing. At the programs the students are required to maintain high standards. Appropriate behavior is encouraged, reinforced and rewarded. Poor behavior brings immediate consequences. The program offers tight 24-hour supervision and operates a merit level system that requires students to earn their status and privilege. The process is based on progressive levels, with promotion to each level predicated on positive behavior. Each level has additional and unique privileges, motivating the student to work harder. 
As the students advance through these levels, they are given additional opportunities to make new personal choices. Thus, the process becomes a proving ground at each level in ascertaining the teen's commitment to changing past negative behaviors. I've been through a lot of programs, they didn't do anything for me because I didn't really have to earn anything. You could just sit around, you could keep your mouth shut, you get levels, you get out. Over here, you have to earn everything. You have to earn the trust, you have to earn your points, you have to earn every single thing. You can't sit down. If you sit out and keep your mouth shut, you're going to get in trouble for that. You're really going to have to work hard. That's what I really think is good about this program from the other programs because there's no other programs that are like that. I don't have a lot of free time, basically. Um, everything I do is programmed, it's scheduled in. Um, I have a lot of responsibility and if you don't do uh, what you need to do, then you get consequences. In this case, it's essays or whatever. Um, you get consequences and you don't slip by because you really can't slip by in a place like this. Here, just the, the environment, the surroundings, the reality, the schedule. Just being on a strict schedule really got me into, you know, getting my study skills back, getting my motivation back. Now I'm used to getting up and cleaning. I was very lazy at home and it helps me to get up, you know, every day I have to get up, do my jobs and, you know, I went on my home pass and I'm used to making my bed now, cleaning my room and I like to keep things neat and organized. I've gotten used to making a schedule for myself now which keeps me with my own personal structure which I've learned from the program and it, it works out really good for me and I find ways to manage my time so that I don't leave myself with nothing to do because those are the times when I get in the most trouble. Being junior staff has um, given me a lot of insight because a lot of the times the students do things that I did and I'm able to really see that and be on top of it because I, I played those same games, I made those same mistakes. So I think um, having the, the junior staff is really key um, because you know you might be able to fool the fans, but you can't fool the players. Um, being a junior staff really made me realize that uh, when when girls don't follow the rules that I give them, uh, just it makes me realize how much I disrespected my parents when I was like on lower phase and stuff. When when I was at home, I'd I just scream at my parents, wouldn't follow the rules, and and having the lower phases screaming at me and, and slamming doors in my face really makes me realize like, whoa, I put my parents through a lot. So. Thing. One of the biggest aspects of the program is that it's 24 hours a day, me helping myself. In addition to the time spent on attitude and behavior modification, students spend time each day, Monday through Friday, working on credits and skills through an individual study course. These programs have an extremely progressive academic program. The curriculum is individualized and COMPSI based allowing the student to work at their own pace and maximize the learning process. They are not held back by the other students' schedules, teachers' lessons plans, course offerings, or class availability. The students are tutored by a teacher, and in some cases, it is possible to complete courses on an accelerated basis. Each student is assessed upon a mission, then assisted in designing their specific course of study. Daily development and personal growth courses are an important part of the overall process. These courses intermittently utilize effective resources such as educational and inspirational audio and video tapes, selective reading material, special workshops, and group feedback sessions. We get up like pretty early in the morning, about 6.30. Usually we go to school six times a day. We have music, we have reading, we have, we have three meals and an extra snack at night. And it's mostly, and we have group time every day, so you can, it's a lot better for you to be able to deal with your issues. And it's mostly, a, and we have PE too. That's a lot of fun. First of all, it's helped me get caught up in high school. Um, helped me get off drugs. I wouldn't have even wanted to go to college if I would still be at home right now. Um, I'm gonna be a junior next year and I'm right on track and everything, so. The biggest thing that sticks out in my mind is, I remember on one home call, I talked to my mom and she said that she never thought that I'd even graduate high school, but now I'm doing it with a high GPA. And when I was at home and I was in school, I had a GPA of a 1.0, and now I have a GPA of a 3.75. The schooling here has really helped me out a lot. It's a move at my own pace, and back home, it was the teachers would move on without you, even if you understood or not. Here, I get the individual attention. When I don't understand something, the teachers are there to help me out. Yeah! <laughs>
The students enrolled in the Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs process work very hard at academics and emotional growth, but there is also time for fun and recreation. The beach facilities and its setting at Tranquility Bay in Paradise Cove provide some unique opportunities for swimming, snorkeling, and all kinds of sports and other recreation. The national parks and the high mountain desert environments of Cross Creek Manor and Spring Creek Lodge also provide unique opportunities for all kinds of sports, sightseeing, and recreation. On and off ground activities provide a proper balance of recreation, exercise, learning, and social activities. Initially, all activities are on grounds, but over a period of time as the students progress in the levels of the programs, they earn the privilege of participating in off ground activities, including sightseeing, water and beach activities, movies, and other cultural events.
At these programs, the students develop and grow through the balanced schedule of behavior modification, academics, health and fitness, and recreation. The daily structure provides a catalyst for teens to develop positive habits and skills. Positive habits not only create success long term, but also allow the students to feel better about themselves. Once an appropriate level of self-esteem is internalized through the acquisition of these habits and skills fostered through the programs, the students will begin to possess a sense of integrity. Integrity causes a person to become what we call internally motivated. This means that the teen will want to do the right thing for the right reasons. Not because you or the program desires them to, but because they want to. Having experienced the positive benefits for themselves. With this accomplished, the war is over and the family structure can be restored. Also what uh, I got out of this program was uh, my, my uh, self-esteem and my self-confidence just, just rose dramatically with going through the task seminars. I, I, I found myself just, just getting built up from the inside out and uh, that's where it all starts is the inside and uh, now I have the confidence enough to uh, do things that I couldn't do at home or before I came here and uh, my self-esteem is high enough to where I don't worry about what other people think of me. And uh, I think I can speak for everyone in this program. That's what you'll get out of here. Am I good enough now? I, actually, I really, I really, really enjoy myself now. I, I, can, um, I can sit with myself and really be happy with who I am. I, I'm, I make choices that I'm proud of, and I think that's the biggest thing that's changed. I, um, I, really, I really sit and think about the choices that I'm going to make, what, why I'm doing them, what's my purpose behind them, so I can feel good about myself after I make them. How I feel about myself now is I have a lot of self-respect towards myself. I believe in myself. I love myself. Um, before I, I was the least, least most important person in my life. I did not, I, I didn't care about myself. Um, I didn't love, I didn't love myself, and most of all, I didn't respect myself. Um, I think the program has done a lot of good for me. Um, I think it's done more than, more than like a lot of kids ever get. Um, I'm really grateful towards it. The Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs recognizes the importance of working with the parents as a key component to the success of any program. Families have frequent phone contact with the student's case manager and when appropriate with the student. Communication with the family combined with the seminars is instrumental in addressing issues, creating a family purpose and vision, and setting goals. The parents are invited to regional seminars similar to TAS to help in this process. Commitment to each student and their family through communication, seminars, and other program components are some of the reasons that these programs are so successful. I feel that something that's also very important in the whole aspect is that my parents went through the same exact seminars that I did. And so when I would be writing a letter home to them or calling them on the telephone, I'd say something that I heard from a seminar or I'd be able to be able to bring back some of the things that I learned and they could understand what I was saying and where I was coming from. It was really great and I feel we grew so close even though we were so far away through these seminars. It was very great for me. The Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs has options that provide young men and women with the experiences that can change their lives and help them develop the positive habits necessary for their success. The Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs have options that provide young men and women with experiences that can change their lives and help them develop the positive habits necessary for their success. We honestly feel there is no better option available. Please contact us at 1-800-637-0701 if we can be of any service or answer any questions you may have. Uh, if I had a chance to talk to my parents right now, I would first thing I would tell her I love her, my mom. I would give her the biggest hug and just tell her thank you. You know, this place helped me a lot and I really feel like this place has saved my life. And it gave me a chance to really get in touch with myself and it like gave me a whole second chance in life and I, I don't feel like I would be alive right now if I didn't come here. That's a hard question. Um, it'd be hard to get something after all the tears of happiness, you know. I really miss my parents. The thing I want to say most to them would be thank you. You know, thank you for saving my life. Without them I wouldn't be here. I'd be somewhere else if I'd even be alive. I guess um the key thing I'd, I'd have to tell him is that I, that I really love him, that um, 
things are really working for me right now. And, um, you know, the stuff that was done in the past is um, something that we're working on putting back together. And um, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think sorry is, is the right word for it because I think they understand. I would tell my mom that no matter what goes on, no matter what has gone on, um, that I love her jewelry. She is my best friend. Um, I have looked up to her. And, um, you know, mom, just hold on because, you know, I'm holding too and I know it's hard, but I love you and I know you love me and it's going to work out. If my parents were here right now, um, I saw my mom that I loved her a lot and that I missed her and that I'm really sorry for what I did. I tell my stepdad I'm really sorry for all the crap I put him through. And that I'm willing to change. One thing I'd say to my parents right now is first, I want to say I love you a lot. I'll, just, just, I want to thank you for not giving up on me. Um, Mom and Dad, I know that when I first came to the program, I expressed in every way that I could how dissatisfied I was with the place and how I didn't want to be here, how angry I was that you guys were sending me here. I, I want to let you know now that looking back on it, this has been undoubtedly the greatest experience of my life. I, I know that we've both come so far together even though we're so far apart, it's, it's just, it's just so good to be where we're at now, together. I, I feel so close. I, I love you guys.